So we are still in the rabbit hole and we're exploring and digging and unsurfacing all these Justin Bieber and Diddy videos. Apparently, there was an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live. So we're going to rewatch this and react together. Let me know in the comments down below how far you think this rabbit hole goes. What you think about all this going on with Justin, our boy JB. I almost said Justin Bieber again, but our boy JB. We love him here on this channel. Uh, and, you know, prior, prayers to him. You know, and his family, and congrats to him. Anyway, let's get into this and let's check it out. This is Diddy warns Justin Bieber about sharing party details in resurfaced videos by Entertainment Tonight. Video of their the original video will be in the description. Uh, again, before we start the video, sorry, I'm yapping. This channel is a conversation, and we love to have conversations together. So, subscribe if you want more. Stay up to date, everything. <laughs> and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. We're <laughs> really six, six seconds in, and immediately I'm uncomfortable. Because <laughs> he's, a, he's a child at this point. Another day, another resurfaced Diddy video now gone viral. He's having 40. Why was this kid so much around him? Was, wait, wasn't Diddy the one that discovered him? Or didn't, like, Justin Bieber's dad uh, go to him? Wasn't that what, what it was? Yeah, I was with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives. In fact, two videos with Justin Bieber bringing more heat to the rapper, who's pleading his innocence from behind bars after being charged with sex trafficking and racketeering. That's crazy. That's crazy. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances which he called freak offs. Freak offs never gets old, but it's crazy. I haven't addressed this in any of the other videos, but he's it's that same snippet has been used in a lot of videos. The fact that he controlled the performances, like the performances is How do I say this without getting in trouble on YouTube? extremely sickening considering the context that we know about how he coerced and trapped blackmailed people into doing things like this and drug them the fact that he 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 not only did he want these people to do things against their will he wanted to control them in that situation allegedly right allegedly I just want to repeat that to me it's like it's almost a level of evil, you know, like it's kind of crazy. If you think like, I think we're, we're glass. I keep, you know, I'm not going to lie. I kind of gloss over it uh, multiple times in a couple of videos as those who subscribe know this because I've been, you know, the word freak off just gets me every time. It's just so crazy that this is the, this is the reality we live in. And um, it's just, it's, it's going to be interesting once this trial starts to see the details because we know some of the details. We can kind of guess what's going to happen, but it's a movie that's blurry right now. We really can't see like it's it's you can kind of catch snippets kind of like like with, with my hands like this, but we really don't know. And this trial is going to give us the finer details. It's going to paint a, a clearer picture a, a fine with a fine brush. We're going to see everything. And it's just. It really makes me wonder. What happened to JB there with, with Diddy? Got me a Lamborghini. Yeah. Just, oh, well, that's nice. I haven't gotten it yet, though. Yeah. I know. <laughs> when is that coming, that Lamborghini? Diddy and the. Un I'm just going to be honest. Live TV shows like this late night. I've never been, I, 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 well, modern late night TV. I've never been a fan of it because it's like, who watch, like, who, not to judge anybody, but I'm not going to, I'm a fan of JB. I respect him, but I'm not a creep. But I'm not going to watch this interview and be like, oh my God, did he gave him a Lambo? But let's just ignore everything he just said prior to that. Like, that's crazy. No? Am I the only one that's like, not, I understand hindsight, but am I the only one that's like, wait a minute, let's slow down here. Let's slow down here. What did he just say? Because it's the same thing that happened with Drake and Millie Bobby. Everyone's like, oh, my God, Millie Bobby's talking to Drake. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Slow down. Drake is a full-grown adult. 
like an old he's like already in his 30s talking to this child this teenager huh hold on uh, i i can't be the only one crazy here i feel like i am i feel like i'm the crazy one but hey let me know in the comments down below if you think i'm the crazy one maybe i'm the one in the wrong All right Let's get into it. Underage Justin appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2011, referencing this vid posted two years earlier on Justin's verified YouTube channel. You come down you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no. 16. No, no, Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. It's yeah. time. I mean, it's kind of wholesome. I can see why it's content. The whole like, yeah, you know, it's like, but I just feel gross. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I feel gross. Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had <laughs> access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> oh, apparently not. Some things, everything ain't for everybody. Flash forward to 2024, amid Diddy's arrest. And then we, in the last video that we reacted with Justin, if, if you're, you know, you guys who, who follow the channel, we saw that he talked about getting away with it. And what's going on? Like, is he just so blatantly in control that not only is he doing the things that he's doing but he's getting he's basically being celebrated for it if you really if you really look at what's really going on here he's on late night tv kind of showboating what he's doing he's flexing that he can have this relationship with with jb and not get caught isn't that weird these moments re-entering the conversation, sparking speculation the then teenage pop star may have attended those alleged freak-offs. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. Let's just go get some. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm actually an. It's like a horror movie where you can't stop it from happening. You know? Some girls. Let's go hang out with some girls. He said, let's go hang out with some girls at the age of 15 with a grown ass man that's not his parent. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. As for Justin, who's now 30, a source told ET the new dad's energy is going towards wife Haley and son Jack, and he's not focused on what is going on with Diddy or the allegations against him. He believes he's innocent. Uh, I believe he's innocent. And we're going to fight this case with all of our might until we don't have to fight any longer. Again, he's not talking about JB. JB didn't say he's innocent. Well, let's just clarify that. I don't know if this editing was done that way on purpose. But he did not, JB did not say he was innocent. He said he just didn't care. But the way it cut that says he thinks he's innocent, he's talking about uh, Diddy. At least that's what I'm assuming. Because, but he didn't say that J JB thought he was, he just says he's not focused on it. Let's, I mean, let's go back. Not focus on what's going on with Diddy or the allegations against him. And then you see this, you see this, watch, watch this part. The or the allegations against him. He believes he's innocent. Who's he? Uh, I believe he's innocent, and we're going to fight this case with all of our might until we don't have to fight any longer. I don't like that editing. That's really weird. That's really weird. This, this latest interview is probably... It's definitely worse than the last one. But it's starting to get me to ask the bigger question I was talking about earlier. How is he being celebrated for by like by like a big news corporations on late night TV? How he's being celebrated for these things, he's being rewarded. I, I'm not saying uh, everything's allegedly right. He could just be an innocent man, and we we're gonna if he's innocent, we're gonna be like, yeah, he's innocent. Like y'all guys, 
We're going to be able to, we're going to, on the channel, we'll defend him if he's innocent. But why is it that some of these evil people openly talk about it and then get late night TV show hosts to do laugh tracks for them and set them up for punchlines? Like, that's so weird. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe. I'll check you on the next one. See ya.